Alright, so this video is long, long overdue. Uh, I just haven't been bothered recently because my voice is still quite nasally uh, because I had a cold on the way over. So let's get started with what I this video is going to be about. This is a vlog series that's going to be about my travel to Montana State University. Fantastic place, and I'll get into more of that later. And this will be a part series, I may put this all into one video or multiple videos, so you'll get to see it. So this is the first video looking at the first four days of my stay. I came here on Wednesday, it's now Sunday, and I'll start with what the travel was like. Well, I got to Dublin Airport, and then that's where it started, you know, I had to get two more planes after that, and I wasn't, I was sick, completely ill, I had a cold, and then I hadn't slept either, uh, that didn't help, I just couldn't get to sleep that night, it was a mix of excitement and being ill, and I couldn't even sleep on the plane, so I had been up for about 30 hours, and then when I was getting off the plane at Toronto, I actually passed out for like 5 seconds, and then, you know, the people at Toronto helped me, you know, they, they gave me something to get my blood sugar up and stuff, I don't know, I'm not that bad, I have no health problems, so it was just sheer exhaustion, um, but that was pretty scary, and, and weird. But after that, you know, everything was fine. You know, I was still feeling sick. Then I went through immigration, and then I went onto the second plane to Denver, then Denver to Bozeman, which was the shortest and most comfortable flight where I actually got to sleep for like an hour. And now, you know, I arrived in Bozeman, and it turns out they didn't actually have somewhere for me to stay because I came a day early. So I went and stayed in a hotel with a Norwegian guy who's also an international student. And thank God, because it would have cost me $160 on, on my own. So, you know, it was good to go halfway with, with someone, and we're both in the same boat, you know. Um, but that was, it was a nice hotel, Lewis and Clark's it was called, in Bozeman. And now I'm here, completely comfortable I'm in my dorm. I have a roommate who I just met earlier from Turkey. And yeah, I'm here now, in my room. And first thoughts? I'm in fucking paradise. This place is absolutely brilliant, that's all I can say, I mean. This is a free bus service around the area, the Bozeman area, you know, five to six mile radius. I can get on and off buses whenever the fuck I want because it's free. And, you know, the streets are very clean. The weather is pretty intense, but nice, nevertheless. The place is clean. The people are insanely friendly and trustworthy and welcoming. It's lovely. It just looks beautiful. The mountains up in Montana. It just looks absolutely brilliant. That's all I can say. This is an unscripted video, by the way. If you're wondering why I'm pausing and stuff, I don't really know what to say next. I'm just. This is my stream of consciousness as we speak, right now. And I mean, I can't believe this place is real. It's just so great. Um, so a couple of days, you know, I've got a couple of days before my orientation, which is like an introductory thing for all the international students, and I've got quite a while before my course actually starts. So I've been kind of getting to know the place, walking around, and uh, seeing the places and shopping. And, you know, top three places so far is probably going to be the Gallatin Valley Mall, Walmart, and fucking Wendy's. I, I, we don't have a Wendy's in the UK, and it was great to actually eat a Wendy's. I think I'm going to go there again later today. It's a Sunday right now, and I came here on Wednesday. Um, and, you know, I, I've had to restrain myself from buying loads of merchandise and stuff so far, because, you know... You never know, I might see more stuff in the future. But uh, I got a cap, you know. And this basically says, yes, I am a tourist. All I need now is the camera. And yeah, I mean, it's so bloody warm here, it's unreal. Um, it hasn't been too bad today and yesterday. But the other day it was 31 degrees Celsius, which is about 89 to 91 Fahrenheit. And that's a confusing thing as well, you know, the Fahrenheit over here. It's basically, Fahrenheit's basically like three times more than what Celsius is, number-wise. But it just looks even more drastic to say, you know, the weather's 90 rather than 25 or 30. You know, it just sounds crazy. And the weather has been intense. The first day, you know, I didn't even think about getting sunscreen or sunblock. I did get a little bit of sunburn. I don't know if it shows now. But I got some of this cocoa butter stuff and, you know, it was quite expensive. It was the cheapest one there. It was like six ninety nine uh, dollars all the other ones were like $10, $11, um, but it was an essential sunscreen, I got that, and I it basically stood, it stops aging and, you know, skin damage, and I think it, 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 it helped, I think it has helped, and I think I'll be black in about a week, because, you know, I, I, I don't look dark, but it's way darker than I usually am, 
Uh, the weather in Northern Ireland is significantly different. However, the winters here are quite harsh. And yeah, I mean, I have dozens and dozens of leaflets and handouts and maps and stuff. And going through the Montana one, you know, it just looks absolutely brilliant in the winter. I mean, I look forward to the winter as cold as it's going to be. But you know, places like Yellowstone Park and Glacier National Park, I mean, it just looks absolutely fantastic. This brochure is, you know, it really sells it to you. You know, these places don't even look real, and I can't believe I'm so close to them now. Um, it, it's just wonderful, the shops, you know, I mean, there's Taco Bell, there's Wendy's, there's Walmart, there's Target. I went to Target as well. It was pretty good. I mean, I got a pair of jeans for pretty damn cheap. I got a pair of jeans for $15. It was reduced 40% off. Where would you get it? You know? And, you know, so many other places here that I've, I've went to and just enjoyed. I mean, I saw Barnes and Nobles for the first time. I got the whole Criterion films for once. Um, but yeah, overall, it's been absolutely fantastic. And, you know, I'll do an update next week after I've actually signed up to my course. And yeah, the lifestyle here is wonderful. And I couldn't be happier to be here. I am very grateful and I definitely thank ISEP, uh, International Student Exchange Program, um, you know, for just existing at my university and elsewhere. Uh, it's a great opportunity and I hope more people, you know, get to find out about this and get to do what I'm doing right now because it's absolutely brilliant and I'll report in more in the future in different videos about my stay here and what it's like to study abroad. So thanks for watching everyone at this part. I'll see you next time.